So, and this is the room I'm trying to set up as a indoor growing area. Um, there's not a whole lot going on in here right now. Uh, still got a lot of work to do. I bought some Venus fly traps because they had some at Dylan's where I work, and I've really been wanting some for a while. And since I raise millworms, I can feed them every now and then. Um, so we're giving that a try. And this is some distilled water. But I've decided that up here I'm gonna grow odds and ends. Um, down here I'm gonna try and grow some um, of the oak grass I've got. Um, all the seeds in here that I need to use up because uh, I really do need to start growing it again for the rabbits. Uh, even over the winter, um, I've got some safe plastic containers to work at. I need to get, I had a lot of these back at my grandma's, but I guess I threw them all away. So I need to collect more of these because that's what I was growing. The oat grass in, just the little square parts, and that was doing really well. Um, I think this is summer savory. This is lettuce, and I don't remember what I put in here. Um, the lettuce, the living lettuce that I was growing died, so I'll probably try and buy another one and see how that goes. And then I'm gonna keep my millworms down here, and eventually when I get crickets, if I do crickets while we're still in the ha this house, then um, I'll probably put them down under here because I don't have anything. I don't have any anything else to use that area for right now. So that's probably what I'll do, and then that's about it. Um, that that up there will be used as storage. That shelf right there will be used as odds and ends. This one I was planning on growing. Oh, I think I remember what was in here. This is spinach. Then I was gonna grow. Um, gosh, I don't remember. Maybe more lettuce in here because I thought we had more lettuce seeds, but we only have. One variety, and I know that we had more at one point. And I was just gonna grow the lettuce for the millworms. So I was gonna grow something in here, like lettuce or something. Um, I don't remember. And then all the oat grass down here, cause that'd be great. Of course, I could probably always grow some more oat grass up here, since I don't remember exactly what I was gonna grow up here. Oh, uh, you know, it all depends. We'll see. Um, I don't have a whole lot going on in here right now because I need to get more seeds and since it's becoming cold no one's really selling a lot of seeds so I might have to order some but um, yeah so there's that <laughs> oh my gosh I should have gotten that on tape that was hilarious what, did, what happened? the glowing sarcophagus <laughs> from one of our games how would you have gotten that on tape? Um, yeah, so my dad got this huge hoop house on Purple Wave. It looks like we're going to start setting it up for winter this isn't huge stuff. Thing. This is one of the small ones. It's still <laughs> big. It's only 20 by 30. It's bigger than my greenhouse. That's big. It's not the 80 by 60. It's still big. It came in a green box. It's bigger than your greenhouse. Right? Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is going to be a compilation of us putting it up in? and whatnot. And I don't know how to get over it. So we finally got it up. 
this is a thing we've been working on for a while. And you've seen bits and pieces of it, I'm sure. <clears throat> so this is going to be the bunny barn for a while. While we're still in town. This is to help keep the snow and stuff off them. And actually, it's kind of cool outside right now. And in here, it's actually fairly... Uh, it's decently warm, so... It'll trap the heat in when it starts getting really cold. Which will make it super easy. So, um... Uh, now that I have it set up... Uh, I will start working on rearranging certain things. Um, these two cages will stay here. These will probably stay here. What I'll probably do is create another stack and put it right here. Maybe. And then I've got all these dried branches that I'm either going to pile here or since we've got this right here, I might uh, see if I can't hang all the branches off the top so that, you know, rodents and stuff don't get in don't get into it um, they'll stay there and once I get around to making a second kitten cage which I don't know if I will here or not it'll probably go right here I'm going to keep the two food bins here and what I'm probably going to try and do is take this tarp fold it in half and lay it here so I can put so I can um, stock some straw and, and stuff for the winter uh, here and that's the plan so far We'll, we'll keep you updated, but this is what we've got so far, and I'm sure you'll see it change over time. But I'm quite happy with it, and I'm happy we've gotten it up finally, because I don't know exactly when it's going to snow. But, you know, now that I've got it up, I'm not quite nearly as worried. And there you go. So this is something I've been working on because I've been wanting to get the cookie batch. As much as I want to get rid of them, it's not going to happen right away. So this is what I've been working on to give them a run, something to play around in. And they actually seem to be enjoying it. The only problem is, is the boys and the girls can get over this smaller part. And I've done a lot to fix it and it just hasn't helped. So right now it's just the boys and the girls are back over in that container for now. Um, they can dig, they can romp around. I really do enjoy it, and I like the fact that I enjoy it. Cause, I mean, look at that hole right there. I've been really digging at that. Look at that. Look at that. They're having, having some fun down here. So they really like it, and I like the fact that they like it. Um, it's been a while since they've actually gotten out of the pen. I've shored it up quite a bit for that. Again, the only problem right now is they're getting over this fence. They can just jump right over it. And I had this over here helping the divider, but it helped for a little bit. But then they were able to find another way through. They're, they are smart little buggers. So I've got to figure out what I can do to keep the males and the females separated so I don't get more mixed breed inbred babies, which I don't need. Um, they're cute, they're fun, but I don't have a purpose for them, and I don't think I can personally find a niche um, for pet it's rabbits. It's going to take a lot of work. But they are enjoying themselves, and I really do like the fact that they're enjoying themselves. And I don't want to take that from them. I just can't afford more, you know, baby pet rabbits. Because I've got the six babies, and then those two over there, Marshmallow and uh, Cookie. So I've got to do something to keep them apart. Um, if I could get rid of three males or get rid of three females, then it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Because then i just take the middle section out and let the, the other half have all of this. Um, I did use that for a little while, but the females could jump out of it. So, 
Honestly, I'm kind of at a loss of what to do at the moment. Um, so, it'll be another work in progress, but this is what I've got so far. and I'm happy with it for the most part, other than the fact that they can still get over. <laughs> Which I will continue to try and fix for a while, since they really are enjoying themselves. So hey guys, this is the part of the video that I mentioned where there was a little extra after the video. So, out of the three rabbits that I butchered um, last month, I believe, um, I've finally gotten around to um, preserving the feet and making charms out of them. So I have some lucky rabbit charms. Um, some of them didn't turn out as well as I wanted them to, so those are ones I'm going to keep personally and probably give them to friends or my family. Um, the other white ones, I believe there are six left, will be put on my Etsy shop and there will be a link in the description below for any of those of you who want one or, you know, whatever. So that's my little extra there. Um, if anybody wants to know how it was done, I can give you the link. I will also put the link um, of the video that I watched uh, down below in the description underneath the link to my Etsy. So, enjoy guys!